This book was originally written in the early 1990s and has stood the test of time. At that time, the subject of life after death was not openly discussed because of the fear associated with it. Now people are more open to talking about it and exploring the unseen realm. In 2013, I decided to update this book because of the questions I have been asked over the years and the additional information that has come forth. Nothing I have written about since I first discovered this subject in 1968 has ever been contradicted. In my 45 years of working in this field, only new information has been added as I continue my job as a reporter searching for lost knowledge. The reader will probably be able to think of many questions they would have liked to have asked that I did not even think of. But such is the way it is when you open the door to search for knowledge and hunt for the answers to questions that most people refuse to acknowledge even exist. The information I have received in my work is probably only the barest skimming of the surface. It does give us a glimpse of what lies in that other world that we all must someday visit. There can be no accident that similar information came from many subjects while in deep trance. In order for their descriptions to resemble so closely what each other have said, they must truly be picturing the same places and circumstances. It isn't always easy to accept another way of thinking that partially or completely disrupts the pattern laid down for us since childhood. But if it contains the ring of truth, then it is worth considering and exploring. But if we can find out this much knowledge from those who have already made the trek and carry the experience within their soul's memories, then we are at least one step closer to understanding the frightening realm of the unknown. I believe all of us carry these memories, and maybe they will be awakened at the time when we most need them. I think my research is much like reading in a geography book about a strange and exotic country which lies far across the seas. It is a real place that we know exists because the book describes it and shows us pictures of it and tells us of the activities the inhabitants are involved in. But until we actually go there and see for ourselves, the information remains only words and pictures in a book. Maybe the author exaggerated. Maybe the author minimized. Maybe he only reported from his own point of view, while another geography book would have reported the facts differently. Any time we travel to a foreign country, we see it through our own eyes, and we may notice something that completely escaped the notice of someone else. Everything that happens to us is colored by our own thoughts and experiences. Thus, we will never actually know until we leave our body for the last time and journey toward the brilliant light that marks the barrier between this world and the next. Even with the knowledge I have gained through my work, I am not anxious to make that trip, at least not yet. I feel I have much to accomplish yet here on this plane. But in my study of death, I have found the celebration of life. But I think when the time comes, the journey will not hold as much fear as it would have, because I know I am not going into a strange, dark, forbidding unknown. I am merely returning home, and there will be as many familiar people and sights on those planes as there are on this one. Maybe the information I have found has allowed us to lift the veil a little and peer beyond, and allowed us to glimpse through the glass into the shadows, and what we see is not as dark as it was before. It is the awakening of memories long buried, and the memories are truly wonderful because what we see is a beautiful sight to behold. 
I am grateful that I was allowed to have these conversations with the spirits. What they have told me encourages the shedding of fears and doubts and brings the realization that what lies beyond the barrier is only a joyous homecoming. Death, be not proud, though some have called thee mighty and dreadful, for thou art not so. For those whom thou thinkest thou dost overthrow, die not, poor death, nor yet canst thou kill me. Quote from John Donne, from his sonnet, Death. 